Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm heading out to do a 35mm POV street photography challenge. There'll be 10 minutes on the clock. I'm going to be shooting in black and white and I'm going to be using the 16 to 35 G Master. It will stay at 35mm. There'll be 10 minutes to go and shoot as much as I can. And the whole point of this is to show you that even if you have 10 minutes, you can still get some shots. Okay, so we are back with another 10 minute challenge. Today it's going to be a black and white challenge. So, hey Siri, 10 minute timer. 10 minutes counting down. Okay, right, let's see how we go. Uh, we're at 35 mil for the whole video. Uh, F4, we get these guys on the end here. Maybe get like a leading line going down the steps. It's quite nice. Sweet, okay, I'm gonna push through. I've kind of worked out a route that I'm gonna do as well. So I'm gonna head kind of through the center of like the streets of Tenby, kind of going around the coast a little bit. Look at this, oh, that's quite nice. So 35 mil, I'm gonna go back. Get a bit of, do you know what, 10 minutes is not a long time. This is quite nice. Sick. Okay, so I'm doing everything at 35 mil because I feel like it's a nice kind of typical focal length for street photography. Um, so far we've got some good images. Oh, these are nice, okay. Good start. Okay, coming through here, past the Imperial Hotel. Very grand. However, I need to hurry up. <laughs> I can't walk today. No walking allowed. Got to run everywhere. Nice street, but a bit dead. Maybe go down this street. I think the difficulty I'm going to find today is people and subjects. Maybe I can use one of these to frame something. There's a dad down there running with his kid. Maybe I can frame him in that. I don't know if that worked. If it did, you can see on the screen. Uh, that was taken at uh, F4, 1250th of a second, because it is super bright today. Um, let's have a look. Keep going down. Obviously there's like a fort over here we can kind of get, but we'll uh, keep going. Oh dear. I forgot how much I had to run in these 10 minute videos. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that'd be a good idea. Oh, this is nice. Oh, in the wrong space. Do I go down? No, I need to go around. Oh, that's a big risk, that is. Nope, can't take it. Right this way. Change the settings. Uh, okay. I've got seven minutes. Uh, no. Let's go onto the main street. Whew. Big ask this morning. This street is really nice. Um, can I get anything here? Plenty of like shots, but I want a subject in the so in the shots because otherwise it doesn't really work. Maybe here. Nice. Okay. I've got quite a few to be honest. I was expecting. Uh, I wasn't expecting to get this many, because it is also, I mean, it's super early, I mean, it's about 10 a.m. Okay, a few people around here, which is very helpful. Um, Let me get the seagull. Okay. So there's a shot that I want to get. I've got six minutes remaining. So I'm going to have to ignore kind of the scent of it and just run for that one shot to make it in time. And I can dip through here. Whew. Big moves this morning. Okay. So this is a nice cute street. Okay, 
I want to get some shots down here, down by the harbour. Beautiful. Okay. Oh. Maybe this one. Oh, that's nice. Nice layered shot. Come on, please tell me I've got, got five minutes. So, the shot I want to get is there's a lighthouse right on the end. Not a lighthouse, sorry. A lifeboat station. And I want to run to that to get it. Oh. It's really funny because people are like, why is this dude running? <laughs> I, ask my, I ask that question every single time I do these. Oh, oh yo, there it is. Okay. I don't know how I'm going to get this. Oh, look at that. So clear, beautiful. Oh, that was worth the run, that was. Okay. Yep. Fuck. Still got four minutes. Got to make my way back up to where people are. Jesus. Whew. Three minutes, 40 left. Come on. This is tough. Let's see if we can get a... Oh dear. That last shot was terrible. There's another one. Come on. Jesus. Oh no. I might be beat. Three minutes left. So sick. There's no time for a leisurely stroll, but anything here? Maybe that boat going out. It's quite nice. Oh, there's like no one. Oh no. <laughs> oh god. Wow. It's hot as well. Jeez, come on. Dead. Jeez. All right. Maybe we can get another nicer shot of this. Uh, this boat, if I get ahead of it. How long's left? A minute fifty. Oh, it's bashed off a few there. Jesus. One minute thirty. 35 mil. That was a terrible shot, but hopefully I can crop it. Um, how long we got? One minute 20. Oh, good vantage point here, which is good. Probably like the last minute. Jeez. Oh god. I'm not gonna lie. I am I am roasty. How about this shot here? This couple up here. Nice. Can't be long left now. 50 seconds. I'm gonna go down rather than up. More chance. Okay. Maybe get this shot. Okay, how long we got? 
I feel like I've done pretty good considering it's so spaced out. I've got 30 seconds. Come on. Pace it. Oh. Um. Oh, shit. No. I've got to get one more shot. 10 seconds. What can I get? What can I get? Come on, something show me. For like five seconds. Dear. Okay. Oh, okay. We'll call that the last shot. Jeez. Woo. Oh my God. Guys, honestly, you need to try this. It's so, so hard. Tag me, optical 10 minute challenge. Oh God. Whew. See what you can get. Okay, so the first thing we can learn from this video is that you don't need a lot of time to take some photos. So in total, I took 21 photos in 10 minutes. I was out of breath because running, talking, taking photos, it's hard to do. But if you only have 10 minutes in your day, you can definitely head out and you, you can take some photos. Maybe I could have just stayed in one location and I could have got four or five really good photos to use maybe on my socials or to make a print out of. And I think once you understand that you can just take your camera anywhere and just be free with the process of creating, you'll be more free in the content you're creating. So we're going to jump into the hashtag optical wonder where we can look at some of the content you're creating. I'm going to look at the black and white ones that come up on screen because obviously it's been a black and white POV. Um, I will be going back to Tembi to do another black and white POV, but for a long, just kind of chill morning. Might go tomorrow morning because it's Sunday, be a bit quieter and just, just walk and it'd be a nice chilled vibe. So if you do want to take part in this challenge, I want you to go out, record yourself if you want, and tag me here on Instagram, hashtag optical wonder and hashtag optical 10 minute challenge. And I want to see what you guys can create in 10 minutes. Let's have a look at that hashtag optical wonder and see what you've been creating. Okay, the hashtag is up to 462,000 posts. We're going to go to the most recent. And like I said, I'm going to see if I can see some black and white shots going down. Now, if something does obviously jump out on me, like this one here, I'm going to look at it because it looks amazing. I love the lighting, that sunset vibe. So let's look for some black and white ones. This black and white one here is really nice, proper foresty vibe. Um, and then we've got another one here, which is really nice, nice street shot in uh, Milano. Um, this here isn't obviously black and white, but I like the shot. Let's look for some more black and white, black and white shots. I mean, it's the moon, which theoretically is black and white, but I like the uh, I like the shot, nice and simplistic. Um, black and white one here of a cat, nice detailed shot of a, a kitty, kitty. I was going to say something else then as a joke, but then I thought I don't want to get demonetized. <laughs> um, keep going down. That's a really cool shot. I like that a lot. Uh, black and white one here, and we'll do. We'll go with this one here, which is another black and white one. Uh, another black and white one and another black and white one. Now, if you do want to get featured on this channel, you can use the hashtag optical wonder over on Instagram and uh, just put it in your caption when you're when you're posting a reel or, or photo and it'll appear on the hashtag. With all that being said, create more, stress less, and of course, I'll see you in the next one.